it's me back to spill some tea but today i'm spilling tea on me that rhymed huh charm michelle the lyricist what's up but anyway so i'm coming to spill some tea on my natural hair and my natural hair journey and some tips and some things i did that maybe you would like to know or could help you out or if you just want to know uh, how i flourished in the natural hair game <laughs> then keep watching I'm not about to sit here and say Perrin messed up my hair, this, this, and that, because I messed up my hair. I did that. I, I'm going to take ownership for that. I messed up my hair. Okay. So, I want to say two of my friends, three of my friends in college were natural, um, Tori, Kiana, and Arabia. And I was like, natural. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No, That's how I was. But my hair started slowly like... Ding, 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 ding. One day I came home, y'all, and I had to take my weave out. My hair was, like, right here. In April of 2014, I decided to stop getting perms. Uh, yeah, that was my last perm in April of 2014. So, throughout the whole year, I started wearing sew-ins a lot. I tried to do the natural hair thing, like the twist outs, braid outs, all that. It didn't work for me. It was horrible. That's the worst process. Transitioning is the worst part. Transitioning is the worst part. Like, for me, I was new to it. I didn't know what to do. I just knew I wanted to be natural and I wanted my hair to flourish. Like, that's all I knew. I didn't know what products to use. None of that stuff. Like, transitioning is really the worst part, y'all. And once y'all get through transitioning, if you get through transitioning, you're a beast. I took the easy way out. So, in December, I flat out my hair, fried that shit all up. And so, when I washed my hair, I was like, what have I done? So, in January, like two weeks into January, I went to the beautician and I said, Miss Veronica, cut it off. I said, cut it off. Right now, like, just please just cut it off while I'm not second guessing it. And she did that. Y'all, after she did that... I had like this much hair, I think. I'll put the clip in here. Lord, don't talk about me. But anyway, so I cut it all off and whoop, pop that uh sewing in with the closure. First tip, I recommend when you go natural, if you do the pick chop, whatever, don't put any heat on your hair because that's going to make it worse. Some people put heat in their hair, but I personally haven't put heat in my hair going on a year and a month since january and this is jane since january 15 and this is january 16 i promise you i have not put a blow dryer i have not put a uh nothing in my hair but a hot cap for deep conditioning and my hair has flourished no heat naturals okay my hair has flourished but anyway so i popped in a sewing with the closure i wore that then i started wearing units made got some more hair made into the other unit so i rocked units until i was like okay i'm tired of wearing weave then i put braids in tip number two protective styling if you don't want to wear your real hair is the key like get do some braids do some buns if you want to do a bun like slick the hair back get some marley hair wrap a bun around it like do all those things that'll help preserve your natural hair tip number three is that number three i don't know another tip you have to learn how to take care of your hair though and it's not gonna be easy Y'all, when I first got my hair, I was like, I cannot wear this shit. Like, it's this big. Like, when I took my sewing job, it was like, this big. I was like, no, but I had to learn. You have to love and you have to embrace it. Like, another tip, when you're natural, you have to embrace it. Like, you have to have the confidence to wear your own hair. Like, that has to grow with you. You learning and your hair learning because you're retraining it all over again. Prod you're going to go through, tip, another tip, products are expensive. See, natural hair products go $12 a pop. Like, Carol's Daughters is $12 for just the shampoo. Come on now. I know, but it, you know, it's for the better of your hair. I started actually taking care of my hair, washing it. When I don't have it in a protective style, I wash it every two weeks and I deep condition it every week. Like, when I deep condition it, I co-wash it and then I deep condition it. And then, like, I put a protective style in. My favorite style is the slave braids, the two braids. You have to wear your hair because you have to let your hair breathe. Like, I do a twist out. I do a braid out. I haven't mastered a wash and go, but I'm getting there. But anyway, so, y'all, my hair went from tink tink to curls popping because 
of what I just said, like y'all, going natural is not an easy process. Going natural is not fun, especially if you trans transitioning. I transitioned for like April, May, June, July, August, September. I transitioned for eight months and I was like, transitioning. So go for it. I'm all for the going to natural. But I honestly feel like it has one of the been one of the best things I have. My hair is so healthy. My hair is so strong. Like, I can tug it. I can pull it. You know, baby hair is a little fleeky. All of that. And it is growing tremendously. Yeah, I'm team natural all the way. I will not go back to the creamy crack. I love the versatility of it. And yeah, I just love being a natural. But... That's all I have for y'all today. Don't laugh at some of these pictures in these videos. If y'all have any questions or anything y'all want to know, leave them in the comment section. Don't forget to like, rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to y'all in the next one.